While the form of interfacing with AutoCAD for the PC is through the ribbon in the command line, there are other methods or different methods of executing commands in AutoCAD for Mac. They are the menu bar and the toolbars. Out of the box, these two forms appear at the top of the screen. We have the menu bar up top here, and we have the toolbars that appear here on the left. The menu bar is a very handy interface tool. It's a bar across the top of the screen that has pull down menus where the commands are all located. Many programs have an interface like this and will be very familiar to you. Come up here to File, click on it. You can find ways to make changes to your file. You can create a new drawing or a new project. You can open a new file or project. You can open up a list of recent documents. You can close what you're working on. Import or attach information, save your files, and set up your pages. I'm not going to go through all of the commands right now. I just want to give you an idea of where everything is found. So if you're trying to find a command, think about what you're doing. Let's say I want to change my file somehow. Maybe this edit will help. So this is an undo. It will undo the last command you did. The last command I did was an erase. Here is your redo. So you have your undo and redo. Cut, copy, paste, clear, select everything, and then find or search. This next tab here is the view. It will help you with viewing your file or your drawing. You can zoom, pan, orbit, redraw, refresh your screen, clear the screen out, change viewports, 3D views, etc. You can go and make some changes to your display for your UCS icon, view cube, etc. I'm going to talk about almost all these commands throughout this training video, a lot of them in depth. Some of them I'll only touch on, and some of the more advanced features like the 3D features we won't talk about. Regardless of the command you're using, you're going to be interfacing with it essentially the same way, and that's through using the menu bar. The menu bar here in the insert, this is to bring things into your drawing. Format is a tab where you will change your layers or your visual displays for your line work. Here's your annotation, text, dimension styles, leader styles, plotting, your drawings, units. These are your tools. These are tools that will help you with different things. These are palettes. You want some of your palettes turned off and on, and we'll talk about palettes later. You can toggle them off or on. If you see the check mark here, that means they're turned on. If not, then they're turned off. Different spell checks, drawing orders, etc. This is the one you'll probably be using most often. This is the draw tab. This has all of your commands in it that will give you the tools you need to draw things. Here's your 3D modeling. You can draw a line, array, construction lines, multi lines, etc. So all of these work the same way in the menu bar. You come up to the tab here that you'd like, click it, find the command you want, click it. And that starts the line command in this case. And I can draw my line. So let's do that again. Draw, left click, go down to line, left click, and then I'm creating my line. I left click for my first point, I move my mouse somewhere else, left click again, and then when I'm finished, I can just right click or press enter or press escape. If you want to dimension, you can do an align dimension, one endpoint, another endpoint, and there's a quick dimension. Zoom in, we can see it. It's that easy. So this is how you get to your dimensioning tools. Any modification, so if you want to change something, find out its properties, erase it, copy it, move it, trim it, extend it. If you want to change something, this is the tab you go to. And we're not going to talk about the parametric controls so much inside of AutoCAD for Mac, but this is where you would go for those. If you want to change some settings to your windows or to the way everything looks, you would change here. This is your content. This is where you sign into your Autodesk 360 account, subscription information if you have some, and help. You can click on the AutoCAD for help, see the welcome screen again, or find other resources, or just search right here to find help. So that's the menu bar. Almost everything you are ever going to want to use is in the menu bar somewhere. So you can easily just go through all of these and read them and find all the commands that you can for AutoCAD. Now they're not all there, but almost all there. Over here on the left is your toolbar. There are three toolbars to choose from. You see this little arrow here. If you left click on it, you will get the option to change between one of the three different toolbars. Each of these have different sets of tools. The reason to use the toolbar instead of the menu bar is because it puts your common tools right here on the screen. You don't have to go and search for them and click here and then click here 
and then keep going down. You don't have to drill down through all the pull down menus. You can just come right over here and click. Here's the line command. Click and draw your line. A lot of your very common tools are here. And we have three different toolbars modeling. That one has your 3D objects that you might want to draw. Like here's a 3D box. I'll show you here real quick what that looks like. Reset. So you can see you can get to these tools very quickly and these have to do with a 3D creation. Now some of them are just 2D objects like your line, arc, polyline, circle, etc. They also have some modification tools in them as well. But if you're going to do a lot of 3D modeling at the time, this is the toolbar you want to use. The annotation toolbar has all of your dimension types. Multi-leaders, you can change your annotation scales, insert a table, your different dimensions, and fields, text, undo and redo, which is nice, select similar, and just a regular selection. So if I click on the selection, I can go through and pick things, etc. And if you select anything like that to release it, just press the escape key. If I click here again, I get to the drafting, and you can see here there's a little symbol that shows you what each one looks like. It gives you a visual display, and it saves room instead of having the whole text all the way across. But here's your drafting tools, and this is the one you'll probably be on the most. It has your lines, arc, polylines, splines, your circles, your hatching, rectangles, most of these editing commands as well, move, rotate, scale, stretch, copy, array, mirror, offset, trim, extend, fillet, and chamfer. And then it does have some of your constraints on here, which we won't be talking about in this video, but it does have other tools to measure distance, area, and changing your UCS, or your user coordinate system. So you can get to almost all of your commands through the menu pull down here. You can get to the majority of the most often used commands here on the toolbars. And don't forget, everything is always available to you on the command line.